And I apologize for being late. Uh, you know, recruiting always comes first. Uh, just wanted to take this opportunity to just uh, talk a little, a little bit about our opening game. Uh, what a great experience, opportunity it's, it's going to be for us uh, to be able to travel over to Paris and play a very, very talented UCLA basketball team. So it's going to be a great way to start. We're, we're going to be young, uh, but I've been very encouraged about what I've seen so, so far. And there's no doubt we'll make great strides from now until that first game. Um, any questions on what we got at stake here? Coach, just to have an opportunity to go to Paris with this squad and, and not only have the opportunity to play UCLA, but come together as a group, how crucial is a trip like this? Now, we're, we're really excited. When this came about, this opportunity, uh, I, I, obviously I really appreciate our administration. Uh, it is going to be a trip that, that we, are, we are going to fundraise for. Uh, to make sure that, that we're able to take care of the expenses that come along with a trip like this, because it's not an uh, you know, inexpensive little endeavor here. But I thought for the opportunity for our players uh, to give them this experience to be able to go abroad, uh, to play a team of the quality of UCLA on you know, a, a, a big stage. I mean, it's not just national state it's it, it's a worldwide stage so really excited to put our brand out there to put the university of louisville out there as well uh, you know i think our women's basketball program has grown to a point where you know we're always in the talk with the top programs in the, in the, in the country jeff i was putting together uh, this year's group which is ha has a bunch of freshmen compared to last year where you had almost nothing but transfers well it, it's 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 one of these time we we go into the season into recruiting always looking to sign the best freshman that we can sign the difference with recruiting now is instead of having five players for one scholarship or you know i've got my top five now you you really have three at least that's how we how we do things. So if we don't get first, second, or third at the point guard spot, then we're just going to wait and see what comes open in the portal. So two years ago, we just you know we didn't go after many, uh, uh, many kids, and you know unfortunately we, we didn't sign them. So then we had to go the portal route, which we knew that and that we were fine with that. Um, and now last year that. 24 class we had a great recruiting class uh, a lot of, a lot of those kids saw the opportunity to be able to be to be able to come in and play as freshmen and compete so now we're looking at seven freshmen and one transfer um, and I'm really excited about it because now we're able to continue to teach and, and develop and really hopefully work the younger ones to develop in to, to the players that that we think they can be Well, I, it's just nice to be able to go out and play a team of UCLA's caliber on a neutral floor. You know, you're going out there. It's going to be a great trip. Uh, we have a lot of fans and that are making the trip. Uh, I've heard from a lot of uh, of people who, who who will be out there to support us. And you know, it's not a home game. You're not a technically a road game. So it it's great. It's an opportunity for us to see. You know, where are we November the fourth? Uh, as I've always said, it's not going to dictate or decide if we're going to make it back to a Final Four or not, but it's going to give us a, a good litmus test to know where exactly are we, what do we have to do to continue to improve. Jeff, I saw Milo had a boot. I can't remember which, but, but what happened there and what's kind of her status? Now, she's, she's been great. She uh, had a little ankle I issue, but she's, she, she's doing fine right, right now. She's in practice today um uh, so yeah i'm not she she's a tough kid and she'll she'll be good to go no no do you speak any french bonjour <laughs> it's about that's about the extent of my turkish as well uh my spanish 
No, it's I've had the opportunity to uh, go over once before on a foreign trip years ago, uh, but excited for all of our players because we're going to make it a cultural experience for them as well. Uh, you know, if, if you're making a trip trip like this, you you want to make sure that you're getting the kids out to see everything, to experience it, and you're not just going to play basketball only. Yes. How did things go with your recent overseas trip? It was great. Uh, it was an experience that, that I, I mean, it was fantastic. You know, I had the opportunity to go to uh, <laughs> Istanbul for a week. Uh, so they had a coaching clinic that they asked me to par par to, to participate in. Um, that was on June thir on June thirtieth. Uh, I was able to take my wife and my kids over, so they were able to go over and experience Istanbul for a week. Uh, also practiced during that time with the uh, Turkish under twenty national team that Alif play, uh, uh, played on. So July 4th, the family came back home, and then we went over to Lithuania uh, to compete in the European Under-20 Championship. And uh, Aleph played extremely well. I think she was listed as one of the top, top, you know, the top 10 or top 20 players in the tournament. Uh, she shot the ball well, played extremely well. Uh, we finished seventh in the event, uh, lost to France, in the uh, quarterfinal game by one, uh, France went, uh, went on to win the, the whole thing. Uh, it was a great game. Had two, had two free throws with four seconds left down one and, and missed both. Uh, but it was just a, a great experience. I learned a ton of basketball, uh, brought a lot of European stuff back with us. I like the tempo that they play at, the movement they have. Uh, the physicality of their game is much greater than what we have here uh, so yeah I it, it, it was really really good I'm excited for E uh, I think she'll have a really good year for us I mean we always have to take take a step back and realize she she got on campus in September of last year had never met one of her teammates thrown into a completely different culture halfway across the world and then we're throwing her out there in November playing basketball games. So I, I think her comfort le 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 level is much better now. The relationships with her, her teammates and knowing, knowing what she's coming into now, the start of her second year. So really excited for her. So the trip was, was a huge success. Coach, it seems like basketball here in Louisville in July is crazier than it's ever been before. Obviously, you were at the Ville last night, and to have your own team currently having something to look forward to and preparing for this, how crucial is this kind of month with the season still so far away? Well, it's anytime you you get the chance to work with your own team, uh, and it's a uh, we're a long way away, you know, from our final product, what we think it can be. Uh, and then t t uh, uh, today was a, a great opportunity for our kids. Maisha Hines Allen was back. Erica Carter was back. So they came and, ta and talked to our kids at practice today. So anytime you can get some of your past alumni to come back and share, espe especially too that, you know, they're playing pro pro professionally, doing basketball as a career, to, to let your young ones and even your older players realize what it takes you know it's a job it's just not i show up for two hours and practice it's a job and it was really really good to, to to have them back and you know the game it's it's been exciting here in louisville uh for everyone to to be able to go back out there to, to freedom hall and, and watch basketball when was you, the last time, if ever, you've had such a young team, and what kind of di dynamic does that bring coming into the season? Oh, God. It, it might go back to Shoney, Shimmer, her, her freshman year. We had a, a, a lot of freshmen that, that year that played a significant role in, in, in the team. Um, so it's, it, it's fun right now. It's fun because I'm seeing growth each day. You know, it's small. But I'm seeing them get more comfortable with what we're asking them to do, uh, the pace of play that we're asking them to play at, and then the amount of details that they've got to make sure they focus on. 
Uh, so it, it's been great. It's been great, and uh, I'm really excited about this uh, upcoming season. You have Jada going overseas to France twice this year. Obviously, yep. she's out there right now. Uh, to go to France a second time with her, is that almost a leadership opportunity she now has to kind of show maybe the spots that she once was at or just to even have this experience already to, to kind of help lead that younger group? Yeah, I think for her, this has been a it, – it's an important trip right now. She's over there training, uh, really getting pushed past her comfort zone. And I, I think that this was really important for, for her. Um, she's a kid that, that likes to be comfortable. And right now she's working with some people as we tried this past year and we're gonna to continue to get her un uh, uncomfortable. And when she learns how to handle those, the, those situations, I think you're gonna see a huge jump in her game as well. And that's why I was so excited for her when she approached me and asked me if, if it was okay if she went over there. I said, go. I think it'd be great for her. So we're looking forward to when she comes back so she can fill us all in. We've, we, we've talked to her and stayed in touch with her, and she said she's really enjoying it. How did adding Amanda Butler kind of come about, and how, what kind of dynamic does that bring in terms of just her having a head coaching experience and also getting Amari with – I'm not a pack, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, no, we, you know, it, un, unfortunate for uh, for Amanda, what took place at Clemson. I mean, it's part of the game. You know, everyone knows it. Um, and then we had a sit a situation here where M Macy Ford, who 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 was our director of ops, decided to go back to to, to college um, and, and work towards a a nursing degree. So then. Courtney had wanted the opportunity to get more into the administrative side. So I moved Courtney up into the ops spot, which then had that spot open. Um, and then once everything took place with Amanda, I, you know, I talked to her and said, hey, would, would you possibly be interested in this? Um, because I know the value we had when Beth Burns was here. You know, it's, it's nice to have someone else who's been in that, those shoes as, as a head coach. Um, she's done a great job of, of blending in with our staff. She's brought a lot of great ideas, but at the same time, what I really appreciate about Amanda is she's not trying to walk in and say, Hey, well, I'm going to change something, you know, cause we've, we've been pretty good here. So, but she's willing to ask questions and say, Hey, did, have we, we thought about doing this, thought about possibly ad adding this. So we've, She's been a great addition to our staff. Um, she loves to work on the floor with, with with the players, and now with us being able able to have two extra staff on on the floor, so that's where she's really added a huge value for us. Yeah, now we we we'd see each other on the road. Uh, we we were friends from within the league, obviously playing against each other. Um, so yeah, it w it was a good relationship. And then when this opportunity came about, it it just it, it fit perfect. And then, you know, we were on Amari's list towards the end when she decided to go to uh, to, Cle to to Clemson. And then when Amanda got let go, and then Amari went back, you know, she reopened her recruiting. Um, it was the first call I made was to Amari, and then I was started the process. But it was never one where I wanted Amari to feel any pressure that she had to come because Amanda was here. Because I only wanted Amari here if she wanted to be here. Because that's one of the things we, we take great pride in is the players that want to be here, they want to be coached. And Amari wanted that. And she, she's been absolutely gr fantastic. And then adding Amanda just gave a little more sense of security for Amari knowing, hey, that, that's the coach I had agreed to play with the first time. So it, 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 it's been a really good fit. And as soon as we get uh, everything finished with the rest of our non-conference -con schedule, I'm still working on uh, MTE event. So once we get that finished, then we'll be able to release all of it. Have we released some of it? Okay, yeah, so there's there's more to come. Just trying to get it all ironed out. Thank you, everybody. I, I, I apologize for being late.